shed here. I uh, apologize for not doing much of the way of posting for um, a couple weeks here, but I've been real busy with work. Uh, just a quick update out here on my uh, CB base station tower. And, um, I expanded my pig pen, as you can see here. So the pigs, they're real happy. They're starting to get big. Next month will probably be time for uh, getting some meat out of them. But uh, anyway, let me walk y'all over to my base station tower. It's finally up, it's complete. Um, I'm still waiting on my other CB radio to come in. Uh, so I took the one out of my pickup, hooked it up inside, and uh, I got an SWR of 1012, so doing real good there. I don't have to do any more adjusting or tuning. It's about uh, 30 feet tall. Um, show y'all here. It's about 30 feet tall. Uh, it just has a little, uh, you know, four foot whip. So if I walk y'all over here to the base, as you can see, it's just a couple two by fours and they're concreted in the ground. And there's this, these are the two arms, excuse me, the two legs. And then it goes up to the arm. There's a bolt up top for the hinge. Bolt up top for the hinge. And then a bolt on the bottom that's kind of the lock. As you can see here, this copper wire that's coming down. This is actually uh, my lightning rod. So that goes all the way up to where the metal is, but it doesn't touch the metal up top. So the metal up top is just, uh, one inch conduit it's cut to 102 inches anyways that lightning rod it goes up on the other side it's uh it's on the other side of that two by four it goes all the way down to the ground here that way i don't get a face full of lightning um but anyways i have a 50 foot cable and that goes all the way up into my window and this other thing coming out that goes to a little battery maintainer that I have just sitting on the roof. Um, so let me show you what's going on on the inside. So the cables come in through the window here and they come down to this box that I have. And it's just, these are good for like trailers and boats and stuff like that. But as you see on top, it's got a uh, cigarette lighter. And that way I can sit there and take CB radios that, you know, are set up for vehicles and come in and just plug them right in on to sit there and strip wires and do any other connectors and stuff like that so that's what's going on there you open it up and uh this is marine deep cycle this is a 25 or excuse me a 27 dcm series that way it's the same exact batteries that i have out in my power shed just so i'm a huge believer in standardization whenever you can um but so anyways, um, the power comes out, the battery goes up into the cigarette lighter. Um, once I get my other CB that's supposed to be in uh, by the end of the week on Friday, I'll plug that sucker in. I'll do another SWR test, but it should, should still be the same. But uh, anyways, this other cable, the coax cable, that goes behind my couch here, and it comes up around to where my uh my radio is going to be so anyways uh that's basically how i did my power situation the reason why i have it hooked up to a battery like this and i didn't just uh buy the little uh like reverse inverters so i can plug into the wall and then turn that 110 into uh 12 volt is um you know i'm off grid out here those y'all haven't watched my other videos um so i don't always have power going to uh my fifth wheel that i live in so um, you know, on the odd chance that I don't have power going to, uh, my, my fifth wheel or my house, I still want to be able to have that, right, uh, I don't, I still want to have that radio on. Sorry, a truck just drove by and next door at the utilities or back in the vehicle up, distracting me for a second. But, uh, so anyways, uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe. If you, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Any questions or concerns? Drop your comments below. And y'all check out my other videos. I, I do a lot about just a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Off-grid stuff. Shit hits the fan stuff. Uh, militia stuff. Um, I do appreciate y'all watching very much. And I do apologize for uh, not much content 
within the last week or two. Anyway, have a good day. Thank you.